Hey, it's Andrea, and today is Friday, March 2nd, and I'm sitting in the car, and the weather is terrible. Look at this. I don't know if you can see. You probably can't tell, but there's wet snow coming down. Let's see if it focuses at all. I can't tell. The wind, well, some of it's hitting the window there if you can see it. <laughs> so it's been windy and rainy and now there's like this wet snow coming down. And while I was sitting in the house I could hear something was like, what does that sound, creaking? And I didn't know if it was my back patio or what. <laughs> oh, crazy weather. So now it's uh, 1 11 p.m. and it's worse outside, see? And it's still pretty windy and snow is coming down. But look, I try <laughs> I opened that window over there and snow got on the oops, snow got on the seat, so I don't know. I don't know. It's yucky outside, but I gotta take my son to work. Hey, it's Friday night, I just got paid. Well, it's Friday night anyway, and the rain has stopped, but the wind has not, so I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Uh, we had chicken breast for dinner, Bob made it, and macaroni and cheese and beets, so that was good. Other than that, kind of quiet besides driving around in storm stuff. So, I looked at the... Well, I, I meant to look at it just now, but I forgot. But I did look earlier and saw that a couple people had guessed what the thing is. They had made guesses. Which I'm very happy about, okay? Not, none of them were correct as of the time I looked at it. But they, <laughs> one was kind of close. Um... The thing is, I like doing this because I've seen I've seen things like things online where people said, "Guess what this is," and I like guessing it. So I thought it would be a fun thing to do. So anyway, I'm gonna attempt to use what <laughs> what it is for. Uh, I probably will do it wrong, but you will you'll see when you see me do it. Okay, so. Here's what you use it on. <laughs> and you, it's a wick trimmer for while a candle is lit. It's an old fashioned one. There are newer ones now that kind of scoop down instead, like kind of like tongs that kind of scoop down into those big candles. But these were for when people used candles for lighting at home. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can do it. So there's supposed to be a talent to doing it where you can do it, if you can do it. People used to be able to do it and keep the candle lit at the same time. Ugh. I'm still going to try and do it. Maybe I'm supposed to sharpen it. Oh no, it got some of it. So, I don't know if you can say. See the black tip of the... And these are old candles, so they have cotton wick in them. Not all the wicks that you find are, are cotton. But, uh, yeah, so it goes in, it goes into the little hole once you cut it. And I did look this up after I put it up because I wanted to see what these things are. And it's so you can lay it on a table and not get the table hot. But it's, it's not really that hot. It's slightly warm, so. <sighs> and you can see that the wick is nice and trim. But there's supposed to be an art to doing it where you can where some people were able to do it and keep the candle lit at the same time. I guess you do it really quickly. So, that's what it is. It's called a candle wick trimmer. And I really don't know how to date this, to tell you the truth. It, I can't, and I can't tell. I think it's made out of brass. Um, yeah. So, 
And this you can, if you have to dig out the wick out of the wax, you know. Now you know. <laughs> anyway, the, the weird thing is that, see, see, we got this, we have this um, desk that used to belong to my husband's grandfather. And when his grandmom gave it to us, there were some things in the drawers. And as soon as I saw this, I knew what it was. Because I watch old movies and stuff. I was like, oh wow, look at that wick trimmer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody else knew what it was, but yeah, I watch so much old stuff. I love old things. I especially love like movies and movies that ha that were made during or are set during the 20s and 30s, specifically in England. I don't know why. I just love that time period. So. I, this is not from the 20s or 30s. I think it's from, it's probably somewhere from the late 1800s to the early 1900s, but that's me guessing. So, now we learned something for today. <laughs> uh, other than that, nothing exciting going on. I got, I'm wearing my Mario sweatshirt because I got my laundry in the wash. So, I wanted to wash both of my sweaters, so then I'll put my sweatshirt on. I need to go through my clothes and get rid of some of them again, because I like to have a certain amount. I have, like to have clothes that fit just into my laundry bag, because I don't like to do laundry, so I like to do my laundry once a week, and it all fit into my laundry bag, and I drag the laundry bag downstairs, put it in the washer, move it to the dryer and then I bring it up in this um, I have this basket that's like mesh and wire and I can grab it from the top with one hand because I can't I can't grab a two-handed um, basket so anyway it's just easier for me that way well sometimes I get rid of some of the clothes and other times I pack the extra clothes away into a suitcase and I just go through it at another time to decide if I want to wear them Sometimes it's seasonal stuff, but most of my clothes I wear all year round because I usually buy short sleeves and then wear a sweater over it if it's cold, so. Yeah, I think I've told you way too much, way more than you wanted to know. So, I think I'm going to go now, but I hope you're having a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!